Hi, today we'll be talking about the difference between Vicon and Rococo. This video is mainly to show you the difference between setting up Rococo and Vicon. It's not a tutorial as you'll be speeding up through the process, but feel free to slow the video down as it is recorded in 60 frames per second. Just a quick disclaimer here. Feel free to pause the video if you wish to read the text at any time. For the Rococo setup, it consisted mainly of setting up the gloves and the bodysuit as well as connecting them to the PC or laptop. It was a rather fast process for about 15 minutes with an additional 3 minutes for motion capture. Some common issues you might encounter while setting up Rococo would be checking that your portable charger are compatible with your suit. Next up for Vicon, we had to calibrate all the cameras and set up the ground plane. The suiting up process was also longer because we had to put on 53 points on the body. We also put on an additional 20 points on the fingers alone. This whole process took a bit longer at about 35 minutes with 4 minutes for motion capture. Some issues you might encounter during setup will be checking that your cable connections are good. This is to ensure that all the cameras will be visible in your app itself. The motion capture for Rococo is rather good, able to detect all the fingers, the feet and the body. And as you can see, Rococo's raw capture for the feet is not as accurate. It must be said also that I was recording near some metal objects, which caused the motion capture to be slightly inaccurate. On the right, you can see the raw capture, whereas on the left, you can see there is some IK filter set on the feet to make it not go through the ground. However, you can see some sliding occurring even after the filter. Rococo also has some trouble detecting where your hand stops and preventing it from intersecting into your body. But the lying down is relatively okay, despite some jittery instances. Next up for Vicon, we were able to detect each individual finger quite well. The walking and running cycles were also nice without the feet moving to the ground or sliding around. It is also able to detect your limbs and not let your limbs move through your body. It is recommended to have at least two people for the setting up of Vicon, one for calibration, one for wearing the suit, although it is possible to do it alone using macros. Aside from Rococo and Vicon, there is also a suit known as Xsense. Xsense is used in a lot of projects such as by the streamer Code Miko for her virtual streaming as well as the developers for Call of Duty Cold War. In the YouTube video by Texture Supply, we can see that his results with Rococo were not as accurate as his results using the Xsense, with the Xsense feed being super accurate without needing much cleanup after. However, one thing to note is there is a big price range difference from the accents being from 12 to 30,000 USD compared to Rococo's 500 to 10,000 USD. In conclusion, Rococo's cheaper price range makes it accessible for more people. It has a fast and relatively simple setup, but it needs a bit more time for cleaning up afterwards. Whereas for Vicon, not many people may be able to afford it, but its tracker-based results are much more accurate than the inertia-based Rococo. We have also mentioned Accents, which is a good in-between of Rococo and Vicon when it comes to price and quality. It is up to you to decide which motion capture method you would prefer, because in the end, it is the result that matters the most. If you'd like to see more about what we do, you can check out our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching.